see sculpture often as a still life, as a number of elements that compose a picture. And that comes very much from my background in painting. But I would also say my background in, uh, in the performing arts plays a huge part because I make an object with the intent that the staging implies a certain kind of uh, relationship between the objects and a sense of animation between the objects. I spent my second year of graduate school in Rome and was very taken by the urban design that enfolded sculpture into the streetscape. That experience I, I've taken with me ever since um, and was particularly important for me in this project here in Gresham was how one would be able to um, see the sculptures at a distance along the street, how the sculptures really become part of the street experience. It started when I visited the uh, Gresham Historical Society. I saw a large photograph of the uh, uh, Miller Kidder hardware store with this cacophony of tools. And it also started with an, uh, an image of the Gresham brass band, marching brass band in the early part of the century. But uh, I realized that what I really wanted to focus were the tools of the trade in the arts and that a community such as Gresham that has this background would be very appreciative of the tools of the trade in any profession. I uh, got a lot of different images off the internet. I printed them out. I cut them out and took parts and pieces of each of these tools and reconfigured them to create these quirky kind of characters. Um, I didn't want a literal representation of what each tool meant. I wanted to take a very identifiable aspects of each of these tools, but also to kind of switch out parts and pieces so that they become reinvented. The Gresham Center for the Arts Committee, I think they were quite open to what I wanted to bring. But once it became clear to me that I wanted to use uh, these very specific sources of inspiration, uh, I could see that it was all clicking in their minds too. We did meet several times to really do some fine tuning, to uh, really address the issues of color. A good designer works very carefully with the client. And uh, in a design tradition, this is not a compromise. This is a dialogue and to, to understand fully what the site is about, what the community experience with the site is about. What's important for me is that people come up and they see the work and they bring to it their experience. 